We have yet another flat bottom dripper. This is Flow Dripper from Hario. It's designed by Mr. Eric Liao, the 2023 Taiwan Brewers Cup champion. This is one of the newest um, designs from Hario. But if you're wondering, this is not the first flat bottom dripper from Hario. Um, I discovered an older flat bottom dripper in Taiwan. I visited the Muchan Coffee Bean Equipment and um, I saw a flat bottom dripper from Hario that is an old model. I'll put the link here. Anyway, let's get right to it. Um, let's open the box so that I can show you. This dripper was actually released maybe earlier this year or late last year um, and it was too expensive for me to buy. Um, it was released by Good Cup Coffee for around 4,800 pesos. I think it's, a, it's still available in their, it's still available on their website. And then I recently saw it in Wofex 2024 and it is sold by um, Coffee Lab, but it's not the same price. It's around 9,600. So I was, I was like, wow. How did the price get up there? <laughs> and then someone posted it on Facebook and the price was, let's just say, too irresistible. So I got it. And so yeah, this is a used try-up dripper and I got it for a really good price. Anyway, if you look at this um, dripper, this is made out of ceramic. Yeah, it looks like this. On the description of the dripper, it says that it is, um, it has a very stable flow rate, uh, maybe because of the ridges right here. And what's different about this brewer is you have this right in the middle. This is supposed to negate um, choking or negate stalling. So this part right here is what makes this dripper different. And at the same time, this part right here is removable, right? Uh, it is removable, so you can actually use a normal um, 155 paper filter. Let me show you. So we have here, this is a normal 155, normal Kalita 155 paper filter. You press it down there and then not only that if you pour your water right in the middle it actually helps the water penet penetrate the bed first instead of the surface so it doesn't actually break the surface at contact all right so it's a it's a different it's a different dynamic for a dripper yeah everyone everyone said it makes great tasting cup of coffee Number one, it's ceramic, so um, it retains heat better. And at the same time, the schematics of the inside with this magnetic tool and then and the ridges under inside makes for a faster flowing drawdown. Right. Now, we're going to brew with this and then um, maybe in the future, we're going to compare it with all the other flat bottom drippers that we have. But right now, I'm just going to play with this alone, right? So I'm going to prepare all the things I need so that we can start brewing with this try up coffee. So this is going to be my first coffee of the day. We're going to use Ethiopia Hamasho from Leaves Coffee. Now, as you can see, after wetting the paper filter, it actually looks like a paper filter prepared with a lily drip. And you see that the middle part is um, upwards. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Right, for the first and second pour, um, I did not use the tool that is in the middle. And for the third and maybe fourth pour, that's the time when we're gonna use the tool in the middle so that we don't actually break the crust of the coffee. Okay, so it actually um, it actually minimizes the agitation on the bed. It penetrates the bed without actually disturbing the top layer. In this way, you don't really add more um, you don't really add more agitation to the coffee. So remember, we only agitated the coffee bed on the second pour. So there is a low, low chance of over extracting the coffee. And yes, it is actually a, a fast flowing dripper. Let's try it. <laughs> yes. It's it's really good, uh, mind you. This is the mind you. This is the first time I'm using this try up um, flow dripper, and I only followed like concepts of how to use the dripper without even reading. Actually, I only assumed that it should work that way. Oh. We can actually control the level of extraction in this dripper effectively. I meant I meant effectively because yes, you can actually control the level of extraction in all of your drippers, like the, the V60, the Oria, the Origami, the Soiren, everything, everything in every dripper you can actually control your um, level of extraction, but not as effective as this um, so what I did is I, I simply did the, the blooming face properly and then did a second blooming face like degassing the coffee bed and then on my third and fourth pour I just poured right in the middle so I don't disturb the bed imagine imagine if you if you did that on your fourth pour only, or imagine you did that on your second pour only, you get a different result every time. Yeah, so this coffee is actually very floral and very sweet. And recently, I've been kind of extracting too much from this coffee because um, I've been playing with all the different drippers. But this one, since I tried not to extract it, I tried my best not to extract the coffee and I got all the mild flavors out of the coffee. So I'm getting... I'm getting grapefruit, um, tea-like tea -like, um, qualities and it's very, very sweet. No bitterness at all. Now I understand why it is so expensive. Now, after brewing just one coffee out of it, I would say this is one of the best um, drippers that I have right now. I would actually, um, I would actually compare this side by side with an Aurea, which is my favorite, by the way. And yeah, it's so good. In the following videos, I will compare this to all the different flat bottom drippers that I have. So, so we're gonna do try up versus Aurea V3, try up versus Aurea V4, try up versus the fellow stag pour over set, try up versus the origami. Um, what else? What what flat bottom drippers do? What else? Oh. 
fr try up versus the Suji. Suji flat bottom dripper. Yeah, it's I'm very impressed. I'm really I'm really happy with this purchase. I think I think that's it for now. Um thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye.